Welcome to the Underdogs Podcast. Strap yourselves in for one hour of unrivaled audio entertainment. Featuring Hopcat. Landerous tea. More like Landerous coffee. <laughs> Little Z. Cold shower streak. One day. Oh. Pop it one. Hello, I'm Jordan and I'm feeling good. Congrats. And Director Cocker. Australia won the World Cup. Really? Give it up, boys. Woo! Yeah. Peter? I don't care. I'm World so Cup. proud no. of my country. World Cup for what sport? Cricket. All right, let's not talk about that. Cricket. That's sick. <laughs> What's the streak of talking about cricket <coughs> Two on, in the, a on row. the pod? Two That's in three row. now. Is it three? Yeah. What yeah. do we say? It's a World Cup. Oh, yeah. Who do we beat? India. We? <laughs> I have no... Don't beat the know boys? my team at Who all. Who did the boys beat? <laughs> I have no... <laughs> <laughs> we did it, boys. Yeah, we did it. Yeah. Yeah. Go us. Can we, can we get a bunch of really Australian things out of the way now? We've instantly mentioned the cricket. Yeah. Uh, and the Arias. Yeah. Well, which we that did was, not talk about on the podcast. Uh, Rias. Crocodile. Dundee. Oh, mate. Crocodile. Nah. Dingo. That ain't a knife. Bunnings. Good stuff. I do pod. meth because we're the meth capital of the world. Yeah. Cocaine's expensive here because we all grow here well. So we all do meth because you can make it. Are we actually lab. the capital? Of yeah, fact. no. Our city. <laughs> no, no, it's Adelaide. Far out, oh, really? Did I think Adelaide, we're second. Oh, so they, they must have done some good stuff. Yeah, lately. Adelaide's <laughs> had some big advance They're in the meth us. industry recently. Yeah, but no, I heard Perth was the meth capital of the world. Apparently now Adelaide's overtaken us. But Yeah, the thing mm. is, it's too hot for like ice. So we have ice, you know? I'm not following. Like liquid solid water. That was too hot for that. So joke. we have okay. crystallized meth. Ice is the oh. name. Street name. Yeah, I thought you were doing meth amateur over here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Clearly not doing this enough. This is why meth. Adelaide's beating us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pull your weight. I thought they were different drugs. Oh dear. Oh, shit. Crystal meth. Won the World Cup but lost the meth battle. Yeah. <laughs> well, Australia won the meth battle. Oh yeah. Okay. We're Just still doing well. Didn't. All right, fuck this. I'm going to shoot up right now, everyone. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, let's get into what we've got. What a thing. start to the pod. If, if in about six months a gaming video releases and Zach's just like, <laughs> the whole time, you, you know when it was recorded. It's immediately no, that's if I haven't started doing meth. That's me normally. Oh, okay. If something changes from that, then you got a problem. What a speed run to get the YouTube demonetized. No, no, it's fine. We've just been talking about solid water. No, we all it's have lisps mess. and oh. we're trying to say, we're trying to say mess, but we all have lisps. YouTube meth. Pay attention Me- to that. Yeah, I made a made a big mess. I, meth. I, I got a messy room. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Come on, guys, help what's, me. What's on the pod this week, Jackson? Yeah, oh, I've got some things. We've got some. In- this is a bit of a meth, isn't it? <laughs> this is a huge mess. <laughs> this podcast. Absolute mess. Zach, stop messing around. What All the right. Fuck? Well, they need to get the meth so that it's not demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. We've got Zach's engaging zoos. Oh, I engaging. wonder what that's about. What's the deal with triple episode? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I think we're going to save that for the end of the podcast. No, no that's This early. isn't in order. <laughs> okay, okay. Wordy cogs. Oh, what's Ooh. that mean? Question of the week. Peter Waghorn and the random word generator game. Oh. So a bit of a stacked week. <laughs> like we're doing the random word generator. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. It's like how one segment is just Peter's name. Yeah. Can't wait. Do you want to start there? Sure. Guys, go subscribe to Peter Waghorn. It's my new channel. Uh, new videos out. I'm just putting out on it whatever I want. So if you're like, wow, those videos are different, then yes, because it's just whatever I want to make and I'm not worrying about it too much. So if you want to see an insight into my brain, Peter Waghorn, W-A-G-H-O-R-N-E. I have like six subscribers right now. So No, you it, have eight now. Oh, shit. Well, you know right. what you should do? You should put in the featured channels on your main yeah, one. Yeah, I will do that. Because sometimes people search the exact... Right words. And I'll post on Twitter and stuff. I'll, I'll work it all out. So yeah. two videos up there right now. Holy shit, you got 11 subscribers. Oh, Dude, that's yeah. twice as much as Jordan Ridley. That is oh. huge. So yeah, go check that out. Thanks for putting that one first, guys. Yeah, Everyone's we haven't got, I haven't got to watch them yet because what, you released them this I morning? I released them this 50 only, minutes like, ago, yeah. literally an oh, hour ago. Okay, yeah, okay. So. yeah, I'm excited to watch them. Yeah. You guys should be too. <clears throat> check it out. Thanks, guys. Very hype. Yeah, Peter Wagcon, you search it up. It does come up. Jordan Ridley. There's a football no, player. An AFL player. Oh, shit. Shouldn't have had such a basic name. I know. Yeah, My get bad. a stupid name like me. I came up <laughs> with a waghorn. Uh, life with Jordan Ridley as his channel name. What do you think? Nah, I think I can take I him over. D- it's why add the life with Jordan Ridley. <laughs> no, why have that? Because then when I search it, it'll come up. For if once. you search oh. Jordan Ridley, it's the defenders' highlights. <laughs> 
But they only have like 3k views. I think I, I yeah, can take Yeah, because no one wants to watch Defender highlights, but it's still above you. <laughs> it's either that or, that hurts. or Popper oh, 1 no. playing Ridley. <laughs> Those are the two things that come up. <laughs> you just got to, yeah. yeah, I think life. Jordan Ridley. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stick it out. We're Jordan Ridley, take better life. Now it's Jiu-Jitsu talking. man. <laughs> Jiu-Jitsu uh, man. Taking on the world. Plus philosopher. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so All what right. are the videos you got up as a bit of like a oh, yeah, teaser? What are they? Uh, yeah, Say the titles. I've got the one. It's, uh, what's the exact wording? Why you, everything, why- why you get it up for Yeah, you? yeah. I can't remember the exact wording. I did write it this morning. I've got why, uh, we are probably in brackets, wrong about everything we know. So that one is talking about how- uh, like he's kind of comparing the past to the present, how we see the past as like barbaric and stupid and that they didn't know anything. Yeah. But then people in 200 years will think that about us now about a lot of things. Yeah. And I use an example. Nah, in like 50 we're, years. We're smarter. Nah, and, nah, and, yeah, <laughs> and, and use that as a tool to kind of stay humble. But then also you need to stand by what you think as the best version of itself. Otherwise you're just like an iffy kind of useless sit on the fence piece of shit. Oh, and uh, the other one is you need to train yourself <laughs> like a dog. Where I kind of talk about how you can kind of motivate yourself Oof. to do something you want to do by keeping it simple and treating yourself like a dog. Yeah, I think Hard you were telling us reward. about that one. I yeah. decided to watch both of them. Yeah. Thanks. So both I. sound very cool. I watched cool. the first three seconds and then we had to start recording. You've killed my watch time at a no, no, crucial I'll be, time of the I'll algorithm. Be finishing <laughs> what if I leave it going in the background of this episode? <laughs> the, I, the first view of the video someone's clicked on for three seconds. Yeah. And she's like, well, we're not showing that to anyone. Like, I don't know why that video I clicked sucked. on it to check what it was, like it would be anything except what I thought it would don't be. Don't repeat it. I'll watch it in 0.25 times speed. Thank so you. you get four times the watch time. Does that actually happen? That actually works. Really? Yeah, you make a video super speed. And then say, play this wow. in 0.25. It's an algorithm hack. Yeah. Wow. I think they may have fixed it since people were doing that. Yeah, people exploited it. Who That's knows? very funny. I would just listen to Peter at 0.25 times speed anyway, so. What? Have you listened to people talk at 0.25? Be a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Even doing like 1.25 and then dialing it back, you're like, holy shit, they're going slow. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. Some people on YouTube, I just put two times speed and do not notice a difference. Yeah. It's like some of my two. old uni lecturers. Yeah. Jesus. Some people talk unbelievably slow. You don't realize until you go double speed and you're like, I can still understand. understand? You completely. Or you oh, click wow. on a Mr. Beast video and you don't need the two times speed. You go on half speed for yeah. that. <laughs> He's like, I got everyone on the planet to put them in this circle and they're going to fight Mike Tyson and the winner gets a school bus. Do you still know that was so good. <laughs> Oh, uh, was it? Zach, Zach's brain is just Mr. Beast video generator. <laughs> he just runs like random bus. celebrity, random thing, <laughs> random challenge. And it's just like, you put them all together. Dude, Dude. How, how weird is it? Man? Did you guys see the, the tweet I reposted of like, have you seen Mr. Beast videos lately? And he just like edits them really weird to like the people just die or he just like blows up the Oh earth. yeah. It's so Yeah, dumb. I don't get that. What <laughs> arc of Mr. Beast? Oh, so worried. Uh, yeah, don't worry. <laughs> it's so funny. He'll be like, all right, moving on to the next challenge. But before we do, I want to blow up the earth. <laughs> He just has like and it's just a CGI of Earth blowing up. Or something. You so can tell they got this like is a clearly made for five year olds. Like you gotta you gotta understand so that funny. by this getting put in the video, you are watching your intelligence being insulted. It's so funny. So I think they hired like a CGI team for their Squid Game to make it look like the original series. And then he probably just had them on retainer. It was like, oh, what do we do in the like one dollar <laughs> house to one million dollar house? And then every time they change houses, it just blows the last one up. Yeah. And then there was like a CGI. funny edit on it's Twitter of like, Mr. Beast has really gone too far. Like skull emoji. And it's just showing him like killing all these people in the earth, <laughs> blowing up with like really like, bom, bom, ba, da, bom, gl- bom, gl- ba, da. <laughs> music going. You'd be pretty happy he didn't do that with the building wells in Africa though. <laughs> <laughs> Onto the next well. And it just blows yeah, up the Austria's town and it. fucking. In Zimbabwe. I committed a terrorist act in Kenya. It's like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah it's funny. Uh, yeah, how is zoomed in until it's bad? Because blowing up the earth is fine. How zoomed in? Like, <laughs> <laughs> until it gets too oh. real. Like, I've blown up this single orphan. If you play, <laughs> that's what, like, you keep zooming in on specific things. I don't know what to say about that. Like, I the think- Empire State Building is blowing up, and, like, we're going to crash it. Anything between into. orphan and city is not okay. Yeah. Anything smaller than an orphan or larger than a city is okay. So Anything individual building individual building is a no on your front. Too close to yeah, terrorism. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. In, I mean two buildings is worse. America knows that, but you know individual buildings also pretty bad. Yeah. Um right. So <laughs> you guys want to know why my cold shower streak ended? Go on, man. <laughs> that's that's Peter Waghorn's segment over. <laughs> 
Good, 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 good note to end on. Loved, um, loved him with all that now. Good thing everyone already went over to the other channel to watch me <laughs> wag on. Sorry, guys. Okay, so go on then. It's cold, nah. stri- cold showers. Um, but I guess this should, maybe this could just be Zach's engaging zoos. Yep, let's go. Uh, so the cold shower streak ended because I had my engagement party on the weekend, Woo. which all the boys came to, and there'll be some photos up pretty soon. Probably yeah. go Could check out my Twitter because they'll be up by the time this podcast. Yeah, can we put out. one of those on the underdogs Twitter because it's, uh, it's going to be pretty sick. Yeah, we got some great photos. Uh, but that's not Zach's engaging zoos actually. Oh, it was um, a bit of a bait. Yeah, it was before because <laughs> earlier fell for, fell for earlier in the week I got double engaged. What? Not Who's the lucky other girl? <laughs> yeah. No, wait, sorry. Not in that uh, way. Um, no, Maddie got me an engagement ring as a oh, surprise. Let's go. Wow. I don't know if I showed you guys this. Let's go. Quality. I have not seen that. Yeah, so it's like a gold ring. With a that little is so nice. Black, that is really cool. Black groove in it with like a little diamond a little, in little it. Little Damn. It's yeah, cool. It's, really it's a sick. cool, it's like a really masculine take on a engagement ring with like yeah. a singular diamond. But like it's like that. so little cool. and in the inset black. It's, it's quite masculine. I like it. Yeah, and I do like my ring since I got my like other one. So it's... You ring wow. down, you bling it. Did you yeah. get down on one knee? What was the situation? Nah. So oh. we had our first date at this beach in Perth called Scarborough. Uh, and Maddie was like, oh, like I've organized for us to go get a picnic at like Scarborough Beach tonight. Like I had no idea anything was going on. It was just yeah. like picnic at the beach. It's like the closest beach to us. I was like, yeah, cool. Then we get close to it and the traffic is so bad, which like uh, you guys would probably know the traffic around that part yeah. is like awful. Parking there's a nightmare. Yeah, they also had markets on. So it was just absolutely no abysmal. Yep. And I was in a little bit of a grumpy mood and I was like, oh, I'm like, I cannot be fucked sitting in this traffic. Like, can we just go up the road to like a different beach? And then Maddie was like, yeah, sure. Like, because hmm. it's just like such shit traffic. Anyway, and then Maddie had like a little like speech sort of thing like had some nice words to say to me before she gave me the ring and she was like we're here at the same spot that we had our first date and i was like oh (laughs) because i kind of made us go like a few kilometers down the road that's close enough yeah that's what i i mean it didn't end up mattering we just had a nice picnic and she said some nice stuff and then i had not she was just like saying all this nice stuff and i had no idea what was going on and then she was like i got you an engagement ring like and i was like oh fuck yeah (laughs) <laughs> she, she was like, will you marry me back? And I was like, Aww. don't think you have to do that, but... That's really that's nice. That's so wholesome, that's yeah. That's ring now, yeah. I think that's a thing. I think more people should do that. I like that. Yeah. Wow. Good job. The quality's really coming around. And then yeah, um, quality's not so bad, eh? <laughs> <laughs> and now, Jordan, Jordan, you it's just a joke, need to go. Guys, that's a joke. <laughs> you got to start going You're up to high, Jordan. <laughs> I didn't hear that one. Uh, was, I, I no, implied that, that I, we all thought equality was bad. I implied yeah. that, <laughs> but I didn't mean it. That was a joke. For <laughs> legal purposes, my lawyer on my right here has told me that's a joke. Yeah, Jordan, you should start flashing your ring finger to Holly. I mean, nah, if, you, right. if you want a ring. Yeah, I don't have any jewelry. Wait, yeah, on. no, I was actually, I'm looking at buying some more accessories and rings and shit because it is cool to be able to you know put a bit of a more of interesting fit together so yeah you're an accessory guy i'm surprised you don't have any rings i know i just i just borrow sophie's because she has a whole shitload of them but i do i do want to get a few more jordan we're gonna start accessorizing nah i was thinking of getting a gold (laughs) chain guys what's your thoughts yeah i mean i went i'm wearing one right now i wear it every day you should get four inch gold for me for my sort of i feel like look like how i look white guy with Big beard, brown hair. I feel like I can't go too thick on the chain. Yeah, you're, you're starting like to DJ get DJ Khaled. No, but like I don't want to look like one of those people with the massive thick gold chain. That's it's a very Greek look. And as it's I not get, my vibe. As I get more tattoos, I, my chain cannot be thick. You know what I mean? Because then I'll just look like a like a drug dealer. Bogan. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean. Yours, yours so you needs, the more tattoos, the thinner it gets. You know, it, it gets thicker <laughs> if you deal drugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you don't want to go that way. So I don't want to. So I need almost. A, like yeah, you can't yeah see like it the more tatt- the mullet starts shrinking for each yeah, tattoo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm towing the line at the moment. You know, you know, You're kind like- of overdoing it, if we're honest. <laughs> That's actually why we gathered here today. Yeah, you it's know, an intervention. I don't know how to do how to describe the vibe without sounding racist because I don't know if it's any sort of country. You can that. say it's like but a stereotype. Like, it's fine. Yeah, but like, and then the like, the like straight sunnies and the like wide open unbuttoned I know what shirts you mean. with the chest hair and Which the thick race gold are we chain. Doing? Kind of like no, that's Mediterranean, oh. kinda, you know, the Greek vibe. In the nicest way, kind of like Hungry Box, almost exactly like Hungry Box, and he pulls it off great. But mm. it's not for me. It's not my vibe. Fair enough. So not too thick on the chain. Yeah. Compared, okay, I know audio watch. Mine is very thin. 
We're thicker than this? Yeah, no, that's a good good size probably. Okay. I, I, I enjoy it. I would recommend it. But the price of gold just ballooned, so it's probably a bad time to buy. Oh. <laughs> Why <laughs> no. do that? Oh, I don't know. People think, I don't understand economics. Hmm, me either. Why do do that? <laughs> What's wrong with that question? <laughs> that's that's funny. Funny. If there was a question, simple answer, it'd be a great question, but I actually have no idea. I'm sure I could have asked someone and they could have answered. So, yeah, definitely. I just, it was like, oh, the, the economy's bad. Why don't do that? <laughs> it's like such a simplification of such a serious, not serious, like so a I, big complex yeah, issue. War in Israel. Why'd they do that? Yeah, why'd they do that? <laughs> one of the big supervillains just stole all the gold <laughs> in the it's world. a one word answer. Yeah. Yeah, right. Fevery. That could have worked. Like petrol, like, oh, the war. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Which yeah. probably is part, it's probably the war. The That's war. what I'm going to guess. I have no idea. The old war. Um, I'll Google it for you, Jordan. Thank you. You, you Thank guys you. move along. Well, that's the end of Zach's engaging zoos. That is. It's pretty sick. Uh, it's very nice. Should we, I've got a game. Do you want to game it up? Yeah, let's game it. The game? Yeah, let's game. I've come up with two of my own words and found two weird words. You guys have to figure out which are weird and which are real. So four words total. Four words okay. wow. and with definitions, right? Wow, Jackson, you've gone beyond, be above and beyond, beyond and above. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I strive to do. Um, Go beyond and above. Real quick, yes. It might. It probably is because of the war. Because when when there's a war, people oh, are fine. scared their currency is going to fail, so they put all their money into gold, uh, which is always uh, going to retain its value. Uh, so, like, if you're like, man, my country might not be lasting too long, you turn all your money oh, into that's gold. that's very smart, actually. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Fuck, we should all turn it into gold because climate change for all of us as well. Yeah. Well, then the gold probably wouldn't help, we'll actually. Get gold will make you sink if you're holding it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we should put our money into helium. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be like the, the guy in the Up movie. The good gold. Helium smart. balloons out the house. Yeah, nice. Has he got a gold chain? I think he does. Now, what are the polar bears doing? <laughs> yeah. They should get some helium. That's going to be me, Carl. <laughs> Fly around. Up. Anyway. Right, the game. Uh, I'll reintroduce it because who knows. Oh, let's play Wordy Cogs. Whoa, Wordy Cogs. Wordy Cogs. What's that? What's that? What's, what's, yeah, I just oh, you did. Sorry. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, what's that? I've come up with some words and so has the earth. Let's figure out who did what. Yeah. Yep. Yep. First Love word. It. I'm somewhat of a genius, so I'll get all these right. First word, grantage. It's an adjective. Are we waiting means, for you to say all four? Should we guess what each one means? Is it one by one? No, I'll give or you the I'll give you the definition. Okay. You gotta oh, tell me okay. if it's real yeah, or not. Yeah, yeah. Wait, how many are like a grandma montage? That's uh, what I was thinking. Yeah. I can't remember. I think, <laughs> <laughs> I think we should guess, Jackson. Guess what? What, what, well, what me the and word Jordan means. thought it was a grandma montage. <laughs> a grand. <laughs> okay, yeah, you guys can guess if you want. <laughs> <laughs> why not? What do you think it is, Peter? I don't want to. Well, we already got it. So why is Peter need to guess? Okay, grandage is something of high grade. Okay. It's an adjective. Okay. Grantage. Do you want all four words and then you decipher? So like a grantage. No, so we do one at a time, real or fake? Yeah, I reckon. Yeah, I think it's good. Okay, okay. I think that's fake grand as targe. shit, bro. That's not real. Grantage. I've never heard it. Yeah, fake. I'm, I'm going to go fake I'm not going to well. heard of any of these. Yeah, I'm going to tell you now you haven't heard of any of them. But yeah, especially yeah. not grantage. I'm going to go fake. fake. Everyone's going fake? Yeah. yeah. All right, we'll come back to it at the end. Oh, oh you tease. Otherwise, it'll be too easy. You guys yeah. can figure oh, it out. Because yeah. there's two of each. Yeah. Okay. Decificate. That's got to be Decificate. Something about pooing, but it like... To assist or okay. educate others. <laughs> <laughs> no, I you're was thinking, thinking defecate. defecate. No, you're thinking of defecate, but it's with a desa. So I was thinking 10 defecation. 10, ten, ten, ten very yeah, quick. It's like def oh, like a do defecate. I think that one... <laughs> well, that'd be 12, but yes. <laughs> when you do 12 shits. <laughs> that sounds I've so been real. Before. Hey, fellas. Maybe it's so real that it's fake. Decificate. Now I'm confused. Mm. What's the definition to help or educate others? To assist or educate others. Well, good thing we didn't guess on that. Oh, <laughs> Jordan cut with ten uh, poos. Uh, yeah, I'm, a, I'm just going to say it's true. Mm -hmm. I want to say this is fake as well, but I, maybe I, I want to change my first answer. You guys are allowed to real. adjust them as you go. And I'm going to change I'll my read first. Them out at the end, and you guys can decide. Ooh. Change my first answer to real. Okay. And this one's fake. Okay. I think this one's real. All right. Next one. <laughs> Remember your own scores. <laughs> Bro, ha ha. Oh. Spelt B R O U ha ha. Oh God! A noisy or overexcited reaction or response to something. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of Scooby Doo about it. Wow! <laughs> Is that the <laughs> you click the pronunciation? <laughs> <It's literally just> <laughs> 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 
<laughs> this is making me realize surely there's a lot of words that didn't really take off. Or oh, 100%. Because it's like. Think or maybe of, they fell off. Like, they maybe used yeah, to be huge. And then, yeah. like, they came along, and then it's like, shit, we can't like use people like the 1800s anymore. And then they're like, thy mm, brew, haha. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what, what, was the, what was the definition again? A noisy or overexcited reaction or response to something. <laughs> yeah, okay. Mm. I'm going to go with true. That one I want to be true. Because I want to start using yeah, it. Yeah, I'm going to. That's yeah. going to be everyday I say vocab. We just start bringing these words in. The yeah, real no, no matter what. I'm no going to say, just start telling people. This is, this is giving me tuna of canned vibes from Jackson. <laughs> it's in like the most outrageous <laughs> shit he's ever made up. And you, now we believe it's true because it's so outrageous. <laughs> that's <laughs> true. So I'm going to say fake. What's the most recent new word? Uh, Gat. Oh, yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> that's definitely going to the dictionary yeah, this year. Yeah, true. The they just did all Gat. the new words. Gat. Because we could come up with when, one. When, when you see someone's fatty and you're like, yeah. <laughs> I'm out of the loop. <laughs> <laughs> when a person sees a vagina. No, 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 no. no. It's, what, is that what the definition it's, is? It means, go, it's like a shortening for goddamn almost. Like, oh, yeah. Like, yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah, damn. Yeah, it's like, it's, like, damn, yeah, it's, like, like, it's, it's yeah. right. I get it now. Yeah. yeah, and it's when, when you, it's like in the kind of people who would say riz a lot type of vernacular. A people, uh, <laughs> Wolf says, in his final smash. <laughs> <laughs> Someone said. Great. No, don't you guys, okay, if I'm you guys not, I'm not reveal gonna them, it'll be bad. I'm not going to read the chat. Right. Arrant. Arrant. How do you spell that? I love that word. <laughs> A-double-R, ant. Arrant. Yep. Aww. Complete or without doubt. That's true. <laughs> Sounds so true. And he's saying that with Aaron. Aaron. Yeah. I'm gonna, think, I'm gonna say it's true as well because I have a true left. I think second and fourth are true. I think false, false, true, true. False, false, true, true. Yeah. Right, so do you want me to go through the words one more time? Yeah. I'll do them quickly. And then we'll recap what we thought was right. true. Grantage. True. False. Wait. False. What did I say? I don't remember. You said false. False. Desificate. True. <laughs> Fake. Fake. I think I'm in trouble. Brouhaha. <laughs> false. false. <laughs> True, baby. Arrant. True. 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 Okay. You guys know what your answers are? Yep. Do it one by one. Yep. Yeah. Grantage. <gasps> Please be false. False. <laughs> I changed my mind. Oh, you got, got that it. one right? I Me. got it. Yes. Desificate. True. I said fake. I'm in trouble. I said fake. Fake. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Zach got me. Bruh. Also, Zach got me. <laughs> so, brouhaha and arrant are both real. Are real words. Wow. wow. I changed mine halfway too. Nailed it. I thought starting out with the two false ones would plant seeds of doubt. It did. Got me good. Got me good. It really did. But it made me change like, my first answer to true. Confident. So, we're going to start using brouhaha. <laughs> so, there's a lot well, of. I, just, I, just did. I did a very it's something natural. Like, there's a lot of brouhaha about this podcast. Oh, man. Oh, there's so, so much it's not like something you exclaim when you're excited. Like, I no, just. Did. No, no. Oh. I think you say it about things. It's kind of yelling, excitement, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't really work. It makes you sound like a Redditor. <laughs> Let me get up the actual sentences. MFW brouhaha. <laughs> uh, a noisy and overreact, uh, overexcited response or reaction to something. The brouhaha over these infam infamous commercials. Infamous yeah. commercials. Uh, the brouhaha over a sexy gamer girl. We've been seeing a lot of brouhaha over Pokemon <laughs> on Twitter <laughs> lately. A lot of <laughs> <laughs> we gotta make that a staple in the pod. I've been seeing people brouhaha. And errant. What errant nonsense, like complete or utter. It yeah. sounds like yeah. not Aaron. It's like errant. Yeah. Are you Aaron, Aaron or are you errant? <laughs> yeah, exactly. We all we all errant. Are you it's Aaron like or you errant? The religion of all the errands would call like muggles. They're like, you know, you're errant. 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 It challenges to use one of those words in the podcast. Yeah. Today. We've been using brouhaha a lot. Yeah. What's the next segment? Uh, well, we kind of jump around. What do you want to do? Um, I want to do the what's the deal with triple episode. Oh, I know Zach wants to do it. Are we breaking it up or are we right. doing it like a big show? No, no, I, no we're doing it. like one big show. Yeah. A big show. I could be a shit sandwich and open and close if we want. Yeah, yeah. Now we'll go in the middle. So, yeah. John, you got to introduce Zach. Bloody hell. Do, yeah. Jackson, do you want to operate? Oh, yeah. I'll <laughs> be I, the, uh, the sound engineer. Can I real quick just explain the segment to the audience? We, we yeah. do this thing where you think of something that could make a stand up bit. And then you don't write the stand-up bit. <laughs> you just try and do it. And believe me, it's always bad. It's just so we got three times to try. Enjoy how stupid this is, because you we're not doing it in front of a crowd, we're not doing anything, and 
it's I don't want to say it's not meant to be funny, but it's meant to fall kind of flat. But there's potential. Yeah. But don't worry if you're not warmed up. I'm, I'm, I'll warm everyone up. Yeah. Right what now. do you mean we're doing it without a crowd? The crowd's right here. Welcome. Jordan, you should do some crowd work with chat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> chat. How, how is everyone in the chat? What's and up? then you have to wait like 10 seconds <laughs> yeah, for no, the chat. Oh, right, it's a good bit. Nah, do some crowd work with us. No, no, do it in chat. I, I want to see, I wanna see the late. chat interaction. By the way, <laughs> if you want to join, <laughs> patreon.com slash underdogs. Just ask chat what they do for a living. Yeah. Oh, they, what, they said they're good. They're, they're hyped. You're hyped. You're hyped. Um, <sighs> bit of cheering. Fucking hell. To- p- pick one of them. Uh, MJ Rocket League. What's that? Like, you're the Michael Jordan of Rocket League or you're the Michael Jackson? Because they're very different. <laughs> <laughs> Ask one of them, like, what they do for work and then make fun of that. Okay, okay. Uh, pick one. Uh, you spewed in an Uber, Reggie Miller. <laughs> That's fucking disgusting. Can we move on? Oh, Jordan's um, the worst at this. Anyway, speaking of disgusting, we have some disgustingly good acts coming up. First up to the stage, Zach. Thank you, everyone. My name's Zach. Uh, first off, I've just got a bit of a one-liner here. You guys, you know, like Jimmy Carr, just a quick little one-liner to warm you up before our main act here. Guys, what's the deal with sleep paralysis? Man, my friend was telling me they had really bad sleep paralysis. I told them they should try a sleep wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's all I got for this. Oh, okay. That's pretty funny. That was, that was pretty good. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've never had to do this bit. Um, get off the stage, Zach. That's enough. Up next, <laughs> Peter. <laughs> Jackson's getting so much mileage out of the audience button. Hello, everyone. What is the deal with key rings? How many key rings do you use? Probably none, maybe one. But how many key rings do you get given on a yearly basis? More than none or one. What's the deal with it? Anyway, you guys have been awesome today. See you all next time. (laughs) I've never got a key ring. Yeah, I need a key ring bad. I've not gotten one one as a gift. I'm going to go buy one. Oh, man. this is. I have so so many key rings to give you guys. (laughs) I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just a guy. That's not a relatable bit at all. Maybe I'm a guy who looks like he he needs a key ring when I don't. But (laughs) You are pretty unorganized. I, I have plenty of key rings to give you guys if you want. All right. Well, it, it may, if I didn't make you laugh, at least I learned something. We are flying through this comedy today. This big, what? The triple episode. We're flying through the triple episode today. And you know what triple means? One more than two. So we've got one more. <laughs> the two coming out. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Zach. Hello, everyone. Thank you. Yeah, I'm back out here. Yeah, yeah. Guys, what is the deal with Mexican meals, right? I love Mexican. And I'm not, talk- I'm not talking about Mexican, authentic Mexican. You know, I love myself some chimichangas, some burritos, some tacos. I'm talking about when you go to one of the fast food Mexican chains, right? Chipotle, Zambreros, Guzman. And they, they have the meal option, right? Like they've seen McDonald's, they do the burger. You always get it with the chips and a drink. Does anyone ever get the fucking side of corn chips? With their burrito, you know, they do make it a meal and it's just corn chips. I've actually never seen that. And they're nowhere near as good as like French fries, but they're trying to like imitate it. I don't know if people in Mexico have these like chips on the side and maybe I'm being a bit offensive here, but it seems like they're just trying to make the extra money. If you are playing corn chips, it's like the side at the Mexican places. What is the deal with that? And also, a burrito's already a full fucking meal. I don't need, like, three corn chips on the side. Anyway, I just thought that was stupid. <laughs> do you guys agree? <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah, hey, it's good like, when they do give it with chips. It they're actually really good. It sounds very similar to just uh, getting chips with a burger, though. And they're good? Yeah, the good chips are seasoned want, like, so well. Why would I not just want, like, a 30% bigger burrito? It's clearly But couldn't you say that about meal. having a burger and chips? Yeah, why no, do we want but, chips with a burger? But the chips by themselves are just so much better than the corn chips by themselves. Oh. And the crowd agrees. Well done, well done. Thanks. Thanks for coming. Yeah, you can all go home now, now that you've all had Every- your laugh. Yeah, everyone well, That leave. was a pretty average night of comedy. Ho- I hope your tummy recovers from all this belly laughing you've just had. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Peter, have, Peter I think it was Jackson, more like have you barely had gotten laughing. gifted key rings? 
I've never like, heard souvenirs. that in my life. Souvenirs. A couple of times, not enough. Oh, to. really? No, a couple of times. And how many do you use? Like of decorative key key rings. Like I've never heard of that. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, I throw them in the bin. Yeah, and Jackson. They, yeah, they're in the bin. Yeah, meal. okay, okay. Respect. The wrong guy was on the mixing desk for you. Unfortunately. Yeah. That's, someone in the chat, please validate me. When someone gives you a key ring, you don't want it. I don't think I've ever gotten key people in a the key chat. Ring. One if you get key rings, two if you don't get key rings. Oh, that's two actually <laughs> good content. Yeah, no. <laughs> what if it was I I only I just uh minimal minimal minimalized my keys. Yeah. So before I had like keys to my mum's house, keys mm. to my sister's house, key ring. I'm like, I don't need to carry all these around all the time, and I yep. have key rings on and stuff. Now it's just house key, car key. Everyone's saying they key. don't get any. Sorry, Peter. Yeah. I think it's sort of a dated thing. I don't see them much. I think maybe anymore. maybe my mum often gets me them as souvenirs and I appreciate the souvenir, but then I can't oh. put them on my keys anymore because I have too many. And your mum yeah. listens to the podcast. So oh, that, wait. Are you saying a thing to put on a key ring? Like yeah. a key chain? Like oh, a, because in the key ring, the ring of the key? It's like, it's like this. And, yeah. it'll have and it has something like, attached to it. Like a little like a Paris or something like that. I see. All right, well, what's that the deal? There you go. <laughs> wait, wait, can, can you I guys, what can one. I do with my key rings? Because I like them, but I can't put them on my keys. Um, you could uh, put like hang them on something else, like the shower curtain rail. All right, and just have a nice little decorative. Maybe not there, but maybe a better. Even place. like dividing your key, like you put the ones your mum gave you, the her keys to her house on one of the rings. That's so true. So you don't all. lose those. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. That's what I'd recommend. That's well, that's what's the deal with. Cool. So we've done engaging zoos. We've done what's the deal with triple episode. Wordy Cogs. We've got question of the week and the random word generator. I want to do random word generator. Oh, okay. <laughs> we well, saved the Jordan question of the week for last. When no one, That's when the least good. people are watching. That's good. Right, so this week we're going to get a random word and we're going to talk about it for five minutes. No, four minutes from last week. Oh, four minutes. Four minutes. I'm going to generate five words and we'll pick one. No, 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 no. no. we got to go with the first one. We can't be specific. That defeats the purpose. Uh it's too it's similar to concrete. <laughs> is it? It's building. Building. I'm going with a new one. Okay. All right. I don't know what the fuck we're going to do with this. Let me get my time. This That's the fun, idea. isn't it? All right. Well, we can always cut it. <laughs> Check goes up if it's concrete. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. Four minutes starts right now. We are talking about peasant. 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 <clears throat> I think we think about the uh, medieval times and we all think, ooh, that's like an interesting time to be alive. Hell but odds no. are we'd all be peasants, no? I've never yeah, like I've not thought that it would be better living in the past. No, I'm I not saying think... better, but people LARP. Yeah, what is a that's LARP? true. Like, it's live, live action, action role roleplay and you dress up in like medieval oh, stuff. Oh, right. And everyone's you being a knight. You dress up the 0.01%. I think for LARPing... For every one person that gets to be a knight, you need a thousand people that are peasants. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. And they all larp and plow fields, and you know, like eat fucking grovelly shit. Yeah, for shit. some reason, they're all cool knights. Yeah, not accurate. No one's doing. Yeah, the like all the Netflix shows are like royalty. Where's like the the Peasant Netflix life. Yeah, normal yeah. tea? Like what's that one? Um, it's a big one. I'm just a Bridgerton? normal Bridgerton, farm Bridgerton. girl. Yeah, where's the Bridgerton? But there's still just poor peasants dying of like starvation. Now that yeah. is good. That and is good nourishment. But yeah, they love each other. Everyone's got the Black Plague, and it's just horrible. Yeah, yeah. I wonder why that hasn't been made into content. <laughs> Isn't um peasants pretty close to pleasant, but not really? You know. Oh yeah. Oh, well, I, mean, I had it, more to say about what's this the deal with that? thing. Go on. Well, because if we LARP now, right, and go back to medieval... Wait, I forgot think, what LARP is again. When people are pretending to be something. <laughs> yeah. Live action Do you think role back play. in medieval times, people would role play as, like, no. earlier, like cavemen? Yeah, they like, <laughs> like, <laughs> They all had swords and the knights and that. That was their norm. Right. But then they get, like, True. wooden clubs, wooden clubs yeah. and started hunter-gathering. And they were like, I know we've got society, but let's live action role play back to when we were cavemen. And when we do it, we're like, mm, fair maiden. And when they do it, they're like... Ugga bugger, like yeah. <laughs> just start talking in cavemen words. I wonder if people do that. Will do that in the future as well. Do you think they knew about cavemen? Probably not. No. Oh, oh that's a good great. Point. They only point. exist in the present. Yeah, wow. like we only know them. True. No, no, no. But stories got passed down. Yeah, but they didn't have any concept of completely different ways of life. They probably would have thought it'd been similar-ish for a while. No, nah, but they would have found like. Cave paintings and shit. No, they wouldn't. No we saw lots way. of cave paintings in yeah, Turkey. But how would, would they like... get the word out to anyone outside of Turkey about these cave paintings? Yeah. Or anyone outside of There's like... There's no internet. The, the kilometre radius. <laughs> yeah, the ca outside the cave. Yeah, true. It's Information interesting to think about what people used to think the world was because you got to remember this is before like they knew there was a landmass that we are now living on, Australia. 
Yeah. They were just yeah. like, there's the great southern land, but we don't know what it is or what it looks like or what's on it. It was like, bruh. We are just here. And explorers would go out and find shit. Dude. You know, you know what I mean? There were so many people doing meth. They were like, oh, let's leave. <laughs> Fuck this place. <laughs> Do you guys identify with the meme of born too early to explore the universe, born too late to explore the world? I wasn't exploring shit. Oh, yeah, like you wouldn't, I wouldn't have been, have I, been an it's explorer. Like, what can one explore in today's day and age? <laughs> the <What>? internet. <laughs> the Jackson, uh, born at the right time to explore parties, still doesn't. Still doesn't do yeah, that Yeah, we're shit. like on the cusp of waiting to be explorers again, I feel. Yeah, that's like what I'm once saying. Once AI has got all the Earth stuff sorted, and then we just start going to Mars and shit. Do we want to explore space? Definitely. No, but... Because what are the meteor hits? Yo, GG. But then what if you're like, I'm going to go into like 500 year cryo freeze and then like when I get there, it's going to be this sick new planet. Oh, I don't know about me specifically, sucks. but I mean like if the earth gets hit by a meteor, all of this is gone. Yeah, but I'm saying, well go somewhere I'm saying doing the exploring is fucking terrible. Oh, it, it takes oh, years to get anywhere. It would have oh, always yeah. been like that though, even in the past. Because like yeah, the explorers would go and get some tropical disease and get stabbed by a native who didn't like them. And it's like mm, exploring always uh, probably has been complete shit. Yeah, why do people do it? Because someone's going to do it. I guess everyone knows Captain Cook The now. chance of glory, bro. That's the one. Yeah, Does you everyone can name an island. Yeah. Yeah, you can name a <laughs> species, Zach. Ooh. <laughs> True. Someone's going to find something on Mars and it's going to be called like the Jeffrey. Yeah, the, the Elon Musk fucking yeah. rabbit <laughs> on Mars or something. The Jeff. <laughs> oh God, yeah. We got to stop Musk or he's going to name every single thing we find oh, out there. There we go. Hey, we actually went off for a yeah, while. It wasn't a that. great conversation, wasn't it? Was it was fantastic. That was good. We should do that more often. Wow. Uh, we had to rate them as well. That was a 10. 10. 10. <laughs> 10. <laughs> great. Okay, nowhere to go but up. Uh, down, I'm sorry. <laughs> Can you the give perfect. us a new topic? I actually quite well, liked that. I yeah. was so into that that I forgot that we were doing Are we that. reloading? You guys yeah. didn't I'll like reload. the idea okay, of this segment. hold on. No, I did, I did. Do we want to finish on top or are you happy to rerun? I'm happy to rerun. Yeah, we were oh, at the 10, so we can only yeah. improve. Oh, this wait. is like when you go to the casino and the first time you hit it big, so you keep yeah, going oh, back. And gambling's, like, guys, did you know gambling's actually easy? And <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so me and Maddie, I have a story about that. Me and Maddie went to the casino in Singapore and it was, I think, her second time going to a casino ever. And we got like $100 to bet with each. Whenever I go to the casino, I'm not a big gambler. I Basically, I'm like, oh, I'll get like a $100 ticket and I just have accept that I've lost all of it. And then like I can actually sort of enjoy myself. That's a great yeah. way to do it. Yeah. And then we went in. First, I made the mistake of not realizing there was a lower buy-in roulette table and lost like $60 uh, yep. very quickly. And then Maddie found the $5 roulette table and she... She's extremely conservative with the betting and it was so boring. She would put like $5 on and then she kept winning, but then every time she would never up the bet. And I was like, we're going to be here for seven hours if you don't you get put to play more of the game. More. That's what and it's then, about. The game's not fun. I don't understand. <laughs> no, it was worse. Then she found the pokies and you can do like the 70 cent bets and like the lowest shit. And she just keep pressing the button for the lowest thing ever. And I was like, you've ruined the casino. And it was already <laughs> terrible. Uh, and then I was like, nah, come on, Maddie, put more on. Like, let's go, like, live a little. And then I lost all her money as well as mine. Oh, well. <laughs> well, so she had it right and you fucked it up. She did. Yeah, now, but, now she can't play anymore. But, like, we were going to be there so long. Yeah, I mean. The lowest bet on the pokies. <laughs> so it's like, hurry up and lose your $100, babe. It's going to happen eventually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good call. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, you're not wrong. Um, right. Here we go. Ready? Yep. yep. Run it back. Oh, God. Salad. 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 Would you guys agree with the statement that you don't make friends with salad? Or would you... I think it's quite possible to make friends with salad because if you bring the best salad to like a garden party, <laughs> yeah. you mm. are the life of the party. Now, but what I've does never that, heard What this. does that really mean? It's more saying you can't be like just pleasing everyone. Is that what it means? No, it's just from The Simpsons. It's just Homer being fat. Yeah. I thought it was like a saying. No, it's from The Simpsons. Wait, so it's not about making fact? friends with a Are you sure salad? about that? Yes. I don't know if they that's They do a conga line around the living room saying you don't make friends with salad. It's yeah, from yeah. The Simpsons. Yeah, but I think they might have got that from somewhere else. Sure, dude. You can think that if you want. You know what? I don't... <laughs> <laughs> I, no, I've been having to think. Salad is not a scam, but it's not always the best option. Right. Because lots of people will try to lose weight. They eat salad. They're like pure low calories. Yeah. I've been on the train recently... That because I I lost a bunch of weight, then put it back on because I like this is a few years ago because I just like went super low calorie and I had lots of salads mm -hmm. and I just like burnt off all my muscle. Now I'm much more on the like more active, high protein, 
but still low calorie. And then like the sigma there, diet. Yeah, is there? So if you're gonna have a salad, you better make sure there's like good protein in there, so that yeah. you're actually full, so you don't hate yourself, and so that you're not just like burning off all your muscle, and then you're gonna rebound, put on weight. Yep. I so mean, Zach's not friends with salad. No, no, no. It's, it's it depends on what the salad is. Oh. I think like salad, it's be good, good macros, good ratios. Chicken salad. I, I don't think having a whole meal of salad is necessarily a good call, mm. but it's good. That it's uh, vegetables are clearly good for you. You know what I mean. You need you need a bit of stuff, but it doesn't make up a lot of your macros. Jordan's I, nod. I Facts. believe that. Facts. I believe that. Right. Yeah. Well, right. Yeah, but there's some lit salads out there. One of my personal favorite favorites, probably like a uh, like a hot, like hot vegetable and spinach salad. With like the pine nuts oh, and some like, vegetable. some like yeah, some pumpkin, some roast beetroot, maybe some mm. spinach, some. I get annoyed no- at roast vegetables. I don't know why. What, what annoys you about them? Like they're just warm and like a bit soft when they don't need to be. All right, what's your favorite salad? <laughs> potato salad. That's, That's soft. A- <laughs> it's so soft. Okay, <laughs> yeah, it's are, we, are we accepting potato salad as a salad? Yeah, it says salad well, then, in the name. Yeah, it's, 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 it's my favorite salad too. It's everyone's oh, favorite. No, it's a perfect no, answer then. Pasta Not even salad. top five for me. Couscous Ooh, salad. Not top five. Nah, no, pasta no salad is so fucking what's your top, shit. Top P- chicken potato- Caesar salad. Potato salad is shit. Thanks. Yeah, it's you're so right. No, Who thinks that's no, no. It's, okay, you've got potatoes and you've put them in this like slimy white coom shit. Yeah. And then like that's, you're done. Bro, it's exactly. mayonnaise. You can't call it. Mayonnaise cream. is bad. Yeah, but it Do makes the potatoes taste good. What do you mean? Yeah, but you just have potatoes then. <laughs> yeah. No, but they taste good with mm. the mayo. Mayo is good in small amounts. There's way too much in a potato Fruit salad. salad. Best salad. May- I, I want to rephrase. Go on. Mayo is not bad. But too much mayo is really bad. Before you have to do Hopcat's apology next Yeah, week. yeah. <laughs> Any Before mayo lovers, mayo. okay. But too much is terrible. I think some people really get around the mayo. They I buy know. those massive jars oh. and just like, they like have so much. That's disgusting. Sick. Mayo is right on the cusp of it being people's personality. It's not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> but it's close. Yeah, I agree with that. Coleslaw is the same category for me, by the way. Too much mayo ruins a coleslaw Col- and almost all of them have too I much like mayo. I like a dry slaw. Yeah. Dry slaw. No sauce. Mm. Just a touch of it is good. A little bit of sauce. Yeah, fruit salad's better than potato salad. Fruit salad's great. Is that what your favourite is? Yeah, I guess so, but it depends on the fruit, doesn't it? It's oh. a big... It's, it's like just saying salad. Yeah. every other thing is a vegetable salad. Yeah. What's the quickest way to ruin a fruit salad in your opinion? I don't know, throwing it on the floor. No. <laughs> what do you I mean? think he means which fruit. <laughs> what fruit do you see in a fruit salad in a large quantity and you're like, I oh. never see fruit salad. I reckon uh, the, oh. the laziest one. We could keep going. When it's full of apple and banana. I'm like, those are normal things. They're not I fruit salad love worthy. apple. Okay, for me, obviously salad. the banana. But I also feel like it doesn't fit. For me, a fruit salad's got to be like... It's crispy. Like crispy, crispy yeah. like tart and sweet. Because I'm a banana know? man, but I wouldn't doesn't want a banana in my fruit salad. property that keeps fruit a bit fresher? Or, am I th- or is it the opposite? It makes it yuckier. Uh, yeah, I think it is opposite. It makes avocados ripen faster if you put them in a bag with bananas. Yeah. That's true. And lemon makes it last longer, I think. Yeah, in the Ooh. fridge. Damn, we got the avocado hacks. This might be our new podcast. <laughs> it's just random word generator segments. We just keep talking. That was great. I can't believe- Wow. No, don't tell me. What? We go again? <laughs> <laughs> I think we move on. We save yeah. it for next week. We, we can't run our segments dry. It's question of the week. Sure. Yeah, let's get it. I have one or two. You have to re- change ch- question with questions. Oh, yeah. It's the Bobbit One question of the week. So, I guess my first question is, um, how long do you reckon, like, let's say, me and Jackson, right? Yep. We switch, and I now have Jackson Spotify. All of my social media is Jackson's feed. I would, like, my YouTube is Jackson videos. How long until I'm Jackson? You know? I, oh, do we get both <laughs> questions and we get to choose which one we go after? No, no, I think we answer both. both. No, I think one at a time. Like, so, how long do you reckon until you change pretty much like into that person? Wait, so you, you would mean change this, pretty? You change a lot. The yeah. stuff that like the algorithm's serving you. You mean more so? Yeah, but it, oh, it's like I have to watch them though. Like I yeah. now I go in the car and then I'm listening to Jackson Jackson's music, music and, and podcasts. Then and I go on Twitter and it's Jackson's feed. It's Jackson's YouTube. I watch Jackson's TV. Do you I reckon like in you... a week, I'm like, World Cup boys. No, it takes you... <laughs> 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 At least a year. At least a year. But to I change it, it would... to me is quite... I think maybe that would never quite happen, but I think you would change a lot in a week. Yeah. A year, I think you would almost be them. No, I think... Well, that's what the question was. No, but like, I, 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 
I'm comparing this to my experience with hanging out with Sophie, right? Because like when yeah. we're in the car together, half the time we listen to her stuff. Yeah. And at home, like we'll be half the time we're watching a TV show that she wants to watch. You know what I mean? And yeah. you are half Sophie. And I am Blood half Sophie. Yeah, am I right? <laughs> She's going to get out my stuff. Am it's I right? A, it's like uh, half the time we listen to her, to her stuff and the other half we listen to her stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we compromise and we listen to her stuff. Someone made a joke to me like uh, at the engagement party or something like, uh, what is it? What's mine is yours, and what's yours is no. What's the fucking thing? Oh yeah, what's 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 yours? What's, yeah, what is what's mine, mine is yours, is and what's yours is yours. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. like yeah, no, it's like the, what's mine is hers, of, uh, and what's hers is hers. Yeah, that's what we have is. a lot of give and take. I give, they take. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Man, I got to start like writing these down so As I can make them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love the, 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 my favorite one is the whole like uh, my girlfriend wanted a puppy, I didn't, so we compromised and got a puppy. You yeah. know what I mean? It's <laughs> like. <laughs> Absolute classic boomer man quotes. Um, so to answer your question, see, I don't think I would become you ever. I reckon. Mm. That's what I think. I think your interests do not define your personality still. Some people's do. I think they do. Yeah, I think they'd have a lot to do no, with it. No, but I disagree. I think like if Zach and I were into all the same things, he's still going to be a different person than me. That's true. But you'd be very similar. We'd be more similar. Do you reckon that's something that's like lost a bit? You know, back in the day, right? I was a kid. Right. Wait. Would you believe it? But it's like everyone goes and everyone watched Channel Nine, yeah, and then everyone this comes the back day. to school, and then it's like, did you see that? Yeah, media is so oh, like yeah. diverse now that you don't really. Everyone's just got an indiv- like not everyone's on the same. You can really media curate page. exactly what you listen to and watch. Now. Yeah, I, I remember not watching like the show that other kids were watching at school and you feel so left out. But now that's and it's like everybody. You have to do that. Now everyone's just like watched their individual things. That's now now someone's things. just like, oh, you should watch this show. Like, and everyone's talking about it. I'm just like, this sounds like shit. I'm never watching that. <laughs> I feel like that's the phenomenon of why reality TV still exists. Because yeah. a lot of quote unquote normies watch it and yeah. then they can talk about it. Yeah, it's good. I don't think you well, would watch it if there was no discourse about it. Well, For same sure. with sports. Yeah, 100% same with Ooh. sports. Like True things sports that are, is you, great for that. Yeah, just for chat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah if you got a real job, you need to know sports almost now. Jackson, oh, it's so annoying. You want to trade phones and computers and everything for a week? We'll see, see how happens. long we can become <laughs> each other. He, he has a he has a something that I was just thinking about. That's a little bit of a hard pill to swallow for me, at least. And it's like admitting that you hanging out with your partner so much has actually changed your personality quite a lot. Oh, definitely. And it's like people don't want to admit that because it makes them seem kind of like, I don't know, a pushover or like something. But it's like, no, it definitely does happen. And it's I like, I think you yeah. got to do that or it won't work. Yeah, but to people, an I think people have this really big thing in their head about like, oh, just be yourself. I'll be my own person. I'll be my own person. I've got yeah. to be independent. I will never change like, and grow. Yeah, well, it's not even <laughs> growing, it's literally just changing. <laughs> yeah. The, the, the thing is also like, there is some amount of like, enjoyment in your partner changing for you as well yeah it's like maddie's definitely adopted my sense of humor a bit more which means like we well, can thank joke- god she needed to didn't she? <laughs> <laughs> which means we can like joke together in like those sorts of ways and i've adopted her sense of humor a bit and it's yeah. like yeah that's just one example of how like you know it it is good i yeah. think you have to change a bit otherwise it'd just be like never works i've definitely changed a lot because every time i see anything of myself from like 10 years ago i'm like whoa dude <laughs> that is weird it's fucked. That? <laughs> yeah you, even like about- five years ago even my first youtube videos yeah it seems I, weird I'm watching the old underdogs podcast they're like not even that old in the grand scheme yeah two years old and i'm like i don't recognize any of us yeah do you guys ever write or record messages for your future self? We should do that no, right I've now. I've never done I that. I diarize things. Like I try and Oh, write I guess stuff I've done that. Yeah. Well, because we have the audience to give us a cannibal. Should we in this episode 91 say something to us in a year's time and see Well, we do have something like that, but we well, I wanted to work on it a bit. This won't go in the podcast. Okay. Well, we can well, do that. I'll save it for another time. time. Yeah. No, no. I like the little time capsule idea. We can still yeah, do time, time Okay, cap, do another one? Yeah. For a year? Do we all want to right now? Should we is a year not long enough? Uh, I don't know. I was just asking. I mean, you. someone for who watched the podcast will DM us this in a year, well, right? Well, that's what's happened with the one I've got. Like, yeah. But you've got one. But, yeah, but it's for episode 100. Oh, oh wow. That's soon. Yeah. Maybe we should wait for that then. Well, was, we can just... I no, feel like we do I this think, I, like I think it. this is good. All right. Okay. I read this it. from Peter. Wait, I was going to find some copyright free. <laughs> 100% no, copyright no, free. No, no, no. Just look up no. Nintendo. How about we just... No, no, no. If you are going to do that, look up like Nintendo. No, Kevin MacLeod, he does all the... How about we just... Don't. <laughs> and then play a little piano thing in the background and we'll give a nice message We need to, to get the piano in this room, Zach, so you can play us stuff on the podcast. That'd be a good idea. 
For those wondering why we're saying no, we always end up getting a copyright strike from the YouTube channels that are like, copyright free, please use this. And then they copyright strike you. Yeah, it's super annoying. It's, it's quite a business model. Uh, so what do we want to do? Like a little bit of a goal or it's just... Just a- say hi to yourself and be like, I wonder what you're going to be doing or whatever. It's just like, it, you can't have a goal. It's whatever you want. I don't really have any goals. All right, great. Say, well, I wonder what it's going to be like. Well, hey, me from the future. How is it going? I hope it's well. Is this, well, is this doing well? Yeah. Don't talk to us. Talk yeah, to yourself. between you and you. <laughs> you don't have to go first if you don't want it. Uh, I don't really have anything to say. All right, just, well then uh, don't go first. Keep it up. <laughs> you're doing good. Okay, can I go? Yeah. yeah. Um, hey, Zach, how's it going? Uh, one year from now, you would have uh, gone on a holiday. hope that was fun. Uh, how are the real life videos going? Still underperforming or did you find your way with them? Hopefully they're good. Hopefully... I feel like we shouldn't be here Oh, for shit, this. maybe this is not good. Hopefully it's not depressing. Uh, I think you might be currently planning your wedding with Maddie. Oh, stressful. Glad I'm not you right now. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, hope you're having a great time in life and you're doing great. Oh, you'll be ripped now, actually, because I'm going to the, I'm going to the gym a good. lot. So have, just setting have yourself a look, up have a look, failure. Have a look down and have a big grin at your fucking six you did pack. It. You fucking did it. And your massive... <laughs> Arms, chest, back. Oh, mwah, you look beautiful. And hog. And if none of that happened, hope you're still having a great life, man. Oh, hey, wow. Jordan. <laughs> hey, Jordan, aka Mr. Jacked, as everyone's <laughs> calling you. Uh, yeah, <laughs> hope you're alive. Hope you've got all your limbs. Um, mm. And good luck. I should have set that small of a goal. <laughs> you have all your limbs. All your limbs. <laughs> and Jordan will be the one that doesn't complete all his goals and you will. <laughs> what, what else, Jordan? How was Japan uh, with me? Yeah, well, yeah, how was it? Talk about that. And um, a year from now, you're probably currently, I don't know, jiu-jitsu champion of Are Australia. You planning, planning your wedding or not yet? I wouldn't be planning it. <laughs> oh, so Holly's planning yeah. it. Is yeah. that what you mean? <laughs> Hope you're supporting Holly in her planning of her wedding. <laughs> And your wedding. Yeah. Her wedding? It's oh, ours. Hopefully, it's hopefully it's out. It's a this doesn't wedding. go out to you. This does not go out to you. I feel like it went well until we got involved. Yeah, it did. Right. Yeah, that wasn't even me talking, Sorry, man. Go, go. Hey, hey, Peter. It, for this Peter, it's the 21st of November, 2023. So looking forward to seeing this on the 21st of November, 2024. Uh, hope things are going well. Hopefully I've... Uh, Worked out a bit more self-identity at that point because it's a little bit confusing at the moment with this whole quarter-life crisis. So mm. hopefully you look back at me now and you're not like, what the fuck are you doing? Hopefully I'm on the right side of history, but I don't know. So we shall see. We shall see. So that is, uh, I'm looking forward to it being over. <laughs> so enjoy that one, buddy. <laughs> wouldn't want, wouldn't want to be me. No, 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 no. Just, just like... Of the crisis. Crisis, the self-identity, crisis. Yeah, whole, yeah. Uh, that whole thing. So... Hopefully I'm on the right side of history, but I don't know. And that's kind of the fun of it, isn't it? That's that's a good message. Wow. I have no amendments to mine. It was perfect. <laughs> Someone in chat said, future Zach is going to be so mad at past Zach. <laughs> that, was, that, was a great, that was good. That was very funny. It's just like my New Year's resolutions. You just don't have to hit just it. Just set achievable goals, Zach. We've learned this lesson. Smart goals. <laughs> and every week and I you would never say, do what's it. smart? <laughs> right. Should I ask my second question? Yeah, that was a good one. All right. Well, do we get the thing again or no? No, no. Yeah, we yeah. do question. I think okay, we okay. Oh, well. Wait, what is it's question? the Pop One Questions of the Week. When people tan, right? What skin tone is the goal? You know what I mean? Like, okay, there's a. Per- <laughs> <laughs> we all glance at each other. <laughs> Who wants to say? Because oh. I don't say that. Okay. Black <laughs> baby. So there's a person, right? There's a person. Yeah, let's so say let's per- just use someone in this room. Let's say that. Okay. Let- no, no, no. What well, doesn't make sense? Okay. Let's say this person A, they do Either. some tanning or like, what is it? When you spray tan, whatever it is. Spray tan. Until you get to B skin color. Well, spray tan is you choose your color. Yeah, yeah. So you get to person's B color. Oh, did did Holly do spray tan for the weekend? Because did Maddie did. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, So is this why it's on the brain? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like you get to the B color. So then B color is great. That's what you've tanned. To, that you're, that's the great color. Yep. Person B comes along. They're already B color. They tan to C color. I don't think people that are B color tan to C color as much as A to B. Yeah. They do. They do. No, no, it's, it's, what, what are you basing that off, John? You just said that. You have no idea <laughs> yeah, at all. No, so they do. I, they, 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 do. Be, they do. They, they do. They do. There's they do. got to be some kind of cross. Like, There's got to be some kind of gold skin color that we've no, got to no, be no. aiming towards. There's a chart 
there's a chart out there somewhere, and as skin color decreases, becomes more pale, the amount of fake tan you buy increases. Yeah. You know, it's an inversely proportional relationship. I would imagine the A to B uh, skin tan lo- lotion or whatever is the most popular one. Yeah. No, nah, but then people who are already pretty tan, they go to the beach, they'll get a tan, and they get very That's dark. That's what I mean. They don't need the spray tan. Lotion. I think it no, is a little tanning. bit addictive, the people who go to the beach and get a tan because they're never going to be dark enough because they just like yeah. get addicted to the thought of being like, I'll look better at this point. I'll That's look what better I'm at this it's point. It's like everyone, every, like the only Everyone's answer is whatever to- your skin color is, is not right. But That's, like with, that's like with muscles or like your body. It's like, oh, I want to be this much weight or this much yeah, muscles. even how ripped mm. people get, like they're body, like oh, body dysmorphia, yeah, exactly. like real bad. Yeah, so right. It's Skin just like you always want to be like better. That's what I'm saying. Like I think we need some goals. I don't get spray tan. I, like, I can that's see what I'm that. saying. That's what I'm saying. We need we need some <laughs> overall goals. Like this is the color we should all be aiming for. This is the muscle. <laughs> that sounds a little bit racist. Well, they're the ones. Ch- I'm not, not not for me, but for the people who do it. You're saying there should be guidelines of everyone should be a certain skin color. I'm saying for the people Uh-oh. who are tanning. Uh oh. What is the skin color of choice? Backwards, put down the weapon and me. walk away. No, this isn't for me. I'm walk not, away. I think it's as I say, I am my skin color. I don't tan because I get cancer. Yeah, I don't tan either. So, so yeah, uh, as people's partners here used fake tan before. Yeah. No. You ever like helped them apply it and that? Yes. And yeah. it's always so much darker before you like wash off the stuff. Yes. Have you ever seen the like problematic version? Because Maddie will do her <laughs> spray tan and then I see it. I'm like, that is problematic. But then she washes, <laughs> she washes it off <laughs> and it's a few shades lighter. Yeah. yeah and yeah, it just yeah. looks like tan. But before that, it's like before they wash off the thing that sets it or whatever, it's like twice as dark. Yeah. And it's a, it's a weird one. Because she'll be like, how's my like fake tan look? Is it nice and even? And I'm like, yes, but you look like you yeah, are. Yeah, you look, this is not okay. Like, yeah. The problematic version. Imagine, and then you can't do anything about it. Can you scrub it off? Um, no, it just has to kind of, well, it goes into wait, your why skin. why is it problematic? Well, George, if, they, you, if, if it your whole stayed at the dark about, one. Wasn't it? No, no, because it, like, because I bet someone who's a bit more tan than Maddie already is going for that problematic oh, right. oh yeah some people are do- going overboard for sure i think sure. the problems with most people no no, no i mean they're already naturally more tanned so then they tan to that color yeah but then maddie would see a whole bunch of her friends and they know that she's like white and oh, then if she so rocks about up and she's fucking it. like extremely dark they're not gonna be like oh she was probably tan and just used a bit more tan they're gonna mm. think why is maddie doing blackface <laughs> Which she was nowhere near, by the way. That is where I'm ending the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. It probably is. You can actually hit me with a way better line than that if you want to. <laughs> if you want to save yourself. How long have we been going for? Yeah, we've been going for an hour, Jackson. Oh, oh you can't do it. Oh, fuck. I might reshuffle some stuff around. But yeah, I was just, I don't know. It seems like a weird thing unless the only way it makes sense to me yeah. is if there's like a goal... I think that is a goal and it's just unsaid. No, but it's I think like the goal at the moment is just bronzed. like not whatever you are. No, there, there definitely is a it's goal. Lightly, it's, like, it's like bronze, but not orange and not like <laughs> yeah. for white people. Nah. The medical term is... Sun- okay, Jordan, why do you ask questions if anything we say you just go no? Yeah. Because I've got a different perspective. Great. Then don't ask the question because you clearly don't have you want to have your mind yeah, changed. You have your open no, but haven't you met any brown people who get very brown? No, it's sun-kissed. What? <laughs> like people from Brazil still love to tan, yeah, and they get very dark. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Am I right? You know, like <laughs> any in, Brazilians in the chat. Very dark. <laughs> is it Asia where the um, the women want to be as white as possible? Yeah, it's yeah. backwards there. Yeah. Or backwards here. They got it right though, because sun damage is not cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm down with that. And I, I oh, lifelong ink part seven. Can I just say that the fact that I'm so fucking white means that I get I'm a great canvas for tattoos. Oh, really? Oh, you are a great... Oh, yeah, because... Like, does it say- mean... Does that get sunburn? Uh, well, if it got sunburn, that'd be bad. No, but like, can it or is it protecting you? No, it can't. It gets sunburn worse. It's oh, bad. Oh, damn. But oh, wait. it means that... Uh, <laughs> wait, like- is Jordan thinking that if you tattooed your entire <laughs> yeah, body, I you're immune thinking to that. I mean, it's I was not the worst that. idea, but I don't think it yeah. works like that. I think you'd get cancer very quickly, though. But yeah, apparently. like, if you... Apparently, it's hard to get really good detail and color on darker skin. And Makes sense. I mean, I'm surprised they just don't look do at my white thighs. tattoos. Just look at my fucking... Yeah, white ink doesn't hold very well, but I it exists. I was going to say, why don't they use white ink? Damn. But yeah, like Oof. the amount of contrast I can get with like a solid black on my like super fucking pale thigh would be a great, great, great canvas for some tats. So that's why you've not been tanning 
your whole life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, smart. smart. Also, what's bad for you? Scanning, yeah. tanning his skin cells in trauma. Here on the Underdogs Trying podcast, we themselves. promote slip slop slapping. Yeah. That's a cool thing to do. That's an Australian thing. I don't think anyone knows what you're talking Wait, about. Wait, really? Yeah. yeah. Just yeah. slip slop slap? Slip slop. Well, whether, well, our country needs like aggressive fucking like sun yeah. ads because mm-hmm. we have some of the highest skin cancer rates in the world because we have the, the harshest highest. sun and the whitest people yeah. from England like who came and settled here. Well, in case anyone ever wants us. some sun <laughs> advice, here we go. Someone dropped me a beat. Oh, yeah. Slip on a shirt. To, wait, wait, wait. Slip. <laughs> Gotta cover your <laughs> nips. Put on a shirt when you go out in the hurt. Um, what's the next one? Slop. Slop. On some sunscreen on the top of your head and face. Slap. Slap on a hat. Slap. And seek. On a hat. Then you won't get burnt like that. Seek. Seek out some shade. Oh, yeah. It's going to be freaky in the seeky shade. And then what's the last one? Oh, the Slide. last one. Slide. On a shirt? Yeah. I fucked it. Sunnies. Oh, slide oh. on some sunnies. Okay. Basically, it's saying it's just saying be it's for kids. Wear clothes and put sunscreen on. Yeah, do do the. Yeah, the educational rap was so much better in my head. Yeah, no, I <laughs> knew it was. You said drop on a beat. It, Jackson, it's not good when you have to go slop. It's <laughs> <laughs> fun. In, in editing, when Zach says drop me a beat, can you please just cut to my reaction? <laughs> Maybe like why <laughs> and mute my mic. So it's just Zach. I'm just like <laughs> freestyle rapping over no beat. <laughs> No, add a better beat. I think the beat was the problem. Oh, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> no, I was envisioning one of those things where like everyone yells like, slap. Oh, and then it's like, there's again, like- the no cool, direction. Yeah, the cool 35-year-old <laughs> middle-aged man is like, slap on a hat and you won't get burned. Yeah. Ah, oh, well. Head to the party to and dream. you'll get turned. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like wearing like a really bad ad made by the government. Mm-hmm. I see. I it's see what's going on here. It's black and white and it's square. I'm picturing this. Yeah, the whole promotion is don't get sunburned, but drink as much as you want. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> With the let's get turned, apparently. And liver cancer takes way longer to come on than skin cancer, so I think we're onto it. Um, Australian fantastic. culture in a nutshell. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think Australia's definitely the highest cancer. Highest skin cancer like, rates, I think. Easy. In somewhere in the world, I think it might be in the world. No, I'm doing cancer. Your beard, eh? I'll check. Yeah, I've done my part. Most meth, most <laughs> cancer. That, we're I'm doing, doing well. my part. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure we've got like the highest cancer for like all the cancers. Australia has one of the highest, one of the highest. About two in three Australians will be diagnosed with some form of skin cancer before age 70. Yeah. Yeah. We should get checked. It's good that you got got yours out of the way. Yeah, I get checked every year. (laughs) That's not how it works. I never used to get checked. And then Maddie comes from Queensland where it's even Even worse. worse. Yeah. So she's like all about getting the skin checks every year. Have you ever been, Pete? No, I do. No, I've not. It says uh, actually that Denmark is higher. What? Wow. That makes oh, no, that's cancer, right? I'm not sure if that's skin cancer, right? Sorry, yeah, that's, that's just cancer, right? My bad. My bad. That's still surprising. Do you reckon it's because it's- very interesting. Do you reckon Denmark it's because they just... don't get sunburnt, so they just never wear sunscreen, so then they just get the cancer? No, I, that was just regular cancer, not skin Ew. cancer, so I think that was a wrong just one. Just get the cancer. Just yeah, the right. Cancer. Wait, Forget isn't, the other stuff. isn't Amsterdam the capital of Denmark? No, that's the Netherlands, no? Oh, yes. yes. Denmark is Copenhagen? I was yeah. going to say some kind of- Coping. Hagen. Hagen. <laughs> We're done. Yeah, that might be. <laughs> <laughs> Was uh, that no more segments? Is that it? Let me just double check. But I think we did it all. I think we checked Smashed everything them. off. Yeah, we did the words, engaging zoos. What's the deal with? Question of the week. Peter Waghorn, random word generator. We can do another random word generator. But nah. I think we've done. We I don't want to overdo it. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. we can call it, honestly. Hey, let me just check the book. <laughs> what do you mean? No, nah, that, was, that was a good podcast. Had a lot of fun. How do you get checked? Made a lot like of friends. Skin check places, and they look at all your yeah skin skin doctors, and stuff. mole checking places. I have been a few times, um, and we'll probably keep going. Do more. they look at your like butt and stuff? Yeah, they look at your butt. Do they look at your nutsack? Yeah, they look at my. They nut. gotta check they everywhere. Actually? Yeah, because I got a weird freckle on it. So yeah, I was like, dude, I gotta. I that's gotta why ask. I ask it. Yeah, like, I have to ask. <laughs> have you got a freckle Damn. on your testicles? It's like. Half on my gooch, half on my sack. Sorry, this is so <laughs> Oh, wait. That's in the sweet spot. Don't get a hard on. Yeah, but there's, there's no sun ever hitting there. Yeah, so there's yeah. no chance that that's a skin Jordan's cancer. doing like a No, no. The, the, what's the one? Uh, what's the bad one? The Benign. melanoma. No, melanoma. It doesn't need... It's not about sun. For what? That one. Why, why do we put on sunscreen? That's for... Like it, it increases it, but oh, people get melanomas all the time on like the bottom of their feet or right, something because well. they're like, oh, I didn't even know. 
any skin doctors in so, the chat want to see it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's asking for proof. Anyone want to chat. do a quick check? <laughs> proof. Yeah, maybe we do proof to end the podcast. Uh, all right, guys. Thanks for watching this week's podcast, episode 91. It's been a fun one. See you guys for episode 92 you in a week. Stand up and pretend you pull your pants down and I'll cut it right before. No. I was going to crack out the brown marker, draw one on my balls. <laughs> Why? Yeah, go on. <laughs> I can get it checked. All the boys get it checked. <laughs> do you really want to end the pod like that? Um, no, I think I'll just use Zach's Maddie quote. <laughs> <laughs> Shuffle it around for that. Please bit. don't. Clara, have the clarification. <laughs> Right. Have recording. you guys ever got your prostate checked? They end the fucking recording, Zach. Sounds bad. I have, I have not. I have not. It's pretty annoying when you feel it go in and then you feel both his hands on your shoulders.